welcome to the Duna Colonizing series. Uh, if you've been following me for a little bit, um, so you know I've done in the Story Recovery Program series, but it doesn't give me any science, so in that series I already had to go to Minmus, to the Mun, um, just to gather extra science to keep to get the mods I needed since I'm still in career mode. I'm only using three mods, uh, Flight Engineer Redux, the FTNM uh, Nuclear Engine mod, and um, Infernal Robotics, which I just added. It's an awesome mod. You can make refueling arms, robots, anything you want to articulate or move. or You can do it for you. So it is awesome. So um, I said career mode, so my tech tree is not completely uh, unlocked yet. I still have a lot of parts that I could reuse. Some even more science, some for electricity. Uh, everything can help. So the plan for Duna, I was thinking start with sending a man rover on the surface containing fuel and then build the entire rest around it. Like send more rovers, dock them together, have a train, uh, fuel train going on the surface so I can refuel anything that I send there and it also acts as a research, mobile research slash refueling slash Jebediah's new home slash <laughs> whatever base and uh... Then I'm gonna need probably a space station in orbit around Duna. Uh, I'm gonna need to design a lander and some um, <laughs> some sort of interplanetary uh, pusher that can push payloads from Kerbin orbit and to Duna's orbit. Probably using nuclear engines. Um, don't know what it's gonna look like yet, because I would really like that vessel to be reusable, so it can dock it space station around Kerbin, I can park it at the space station around Duna and just refuel it constantly so that thing once in space will never have to land on a planet ever again. Uh, the problem with that will be to actually design it properly and uh, since the asteroid recovery, uh, the asteroid research station that I made uh, around Kerbin in the asteroid recovery program is laggy as hell, I might just send a uh, a new station up just for um, um, yeah refueling without having to wait 30 minutes <laughs> two frames per second to approach my actual station yeah but yeah so let's see what we can do thanks for watching and I'll see you in the VAB